Alola friends, Dapper Jabby is back today, and welcome to another day in the nonchalant Nuzlocke. We finally beat the first trial, the trial of Lima and his gumshoes for president. Uh, so, we're about to pick up the crystal and talk to Ilima. Um, I'm Michael Kine. What an incredible trainer you are! For you to be able to defeat, defeat the totem Pokemon that I had trained to such a powerful state, I don't know what I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the first... You've cleared the trial of Alima. You are a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Dapper Drabby. The Z-Crystal from the pedestal is now yours. And... Get copyrighted. I'm kidding, I don't know. There we go, the trial is complete. So it's lighting to be a little weird right now. It's because I kind of had the focus on that first part. It happens. So, let's see, what do we got? We got the Normalium Z. I wish I had a graphic for it. I'd pop it up on the screen right now. We put it away in the Z crystal pocket. Sorry if I'm close to the microphone. What you just received is the normal Z crystal. It is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon use it, a normal type move, hey, hold, you can do this, you know, do a little dance, and strike an elegant pose like this one, and then you'll be able to strengthen the normal type moves and by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Oh, you just walk away after that. Oh yes, first, there's one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds or his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon like Gumshoe just now. And during a gun, uh, during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to show up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon and Elogen are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and prove yourself, you can now try to catch Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, here's some Great Balls. A fire. Great Balls of Fire. Wow, we got 10. I'm gonna throw that at the first thing we see. And here, let me see. Uh, let me see to you, your Pokemon, after all their hard work there. I think he's gonna heal us. He's healing us. Go into the Ocknos. If we're done here, I have some interesting, something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Michael Kine, I can't talk like that very often. Congrats on passing the trial. If I had a heart, would it be the pounding one the whole time? Congrats on passing the trial. If I had a heart, it would be pounding the whole time. It was kind of tough to lose the creep, I must say. It was such an intense battle, my circuits almost got overloaded. So exciting. Anyways, good work, kid. Now let's get out of this cave. After we wake you up from your dead sleep and do the lotto. How do you guys like lotto time? Maybe I can, you know, bump the camera. There we go. Focus on it. A star. I got the golden star. Hey, look at that. It's, that's an amazing power. Roto prize money. That'd be useful. I do like clothes. The prize money power is increases the money you win after each battle. So if you're about to face a bunch of trainers. Um, what's this? Hey, I was wondering, do you prefer trading or battling with your Pokemon with others? Uh, and this is blared out. Wow. Let's take off that autofocus. I'm um, definitely battling. Um, what he said. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. We got our Normalium Z. Um, the creep, unfortunately, has passed. So, first off, let's take the held item. And then we're gonna have to move him to the back. 
I think we're gonna start things off with Bruce here. The creep has unfortunately passed on, and we can no longer use him in this game. Um, we need uh, Tauros to come back here and get that item. I'll have to remember to do that in my other game as well. But let's go! Let's see if we can get an encounter in Verdant Cavern. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't know her voice. Wow! A Z crystal! So, that is what they call a Z crystal. It appears that Alola's mysterious Z crystals are a seed for overcoming trials. Is that right? Alola! I suppose it may be admirable to overcome such trials using your own strength and skill, rather than relying on technology, as we do. I'm Zossie! <laughs> I should just make her super sassy. I'm Zossie! You're kind of awesome, you know. <laughs> and purple hair, dude. Ugh. Dulce. Ugh, this is when you're supposed to say Alola to, to one another, is it not? I am Dulce. I have no pulse. And we're a part of the Ultra Recon Squad, yup! That ball thingy you use there. That is a, some amazing bit of tech. We might just have to borrow that idea. We're investigating all about the crystals and auras and all kinds of stuff. So I guess we'll probably see you around. Alola. I am Dawson, I have an pulse. Okay, so there are young goose in here, but what we are hoping for is something else and is this that something else is this that something else actually that's not bad i am going to catch this noibat um the only unfortunate thing about it is that it's not going to evolve until like level 42 probably so first off let's see if the great ball works the Great Ball works. Nice. Noibat is caught. So, um, I gotta do a shout out, I guess, on this one. Because I, I will... I'm probably gonna name it after another, a YouTuber I watch occasionally. Although I do like naming it after the cards, too. What's it called? Distort or something is the Pokemon move? On the card? Huh, <sighs> sound wave Pokemon fruit its favorite fruit is this gourmet. This gourmet carefully picks out uh just the ripe ones using all its sonar. Would you like to give Noibat a name? It is male. So I will just name it after this uh YouTuber that I occasionally watch. I've collabed with him once, I think. There we go. Some of you may know him. Some of you may have seen his channel. Um I'm going to add it to the party, and we gotta take out the creep, because the creep is no longer with us. So, we're gonna add time up there at the top. Don't even know what nature or anything. So, very nice. We finally caught something. Um, I think I'm gonna put some of these guys in the back, and he can learn Brick Break. Yes, please. Screech Supersonic. We're gonna get rid of Screech, I think. How can this little tiny bat learn Brick Break? That is craziness. Of course, I can learn Echoed Voice. It'd actually probably be pretty good with Echoed Voice. But I think we're going to move on from there. Ah, no, I'm not. I wanted to uh, put that Z Crystal on it. So, we're going to go ahead and use this item and throw it onto time. And then, um, I'm actually going to do one more thing. Just so I don't have to stop and wonder if I'm, uh, leveled up high enough. I'm going to put, uh, Bruce and, uh, time in the back and, uh, just let them level up naturally. Um, but I think we're going to check out time by just... 
putting it in battle. Um, and then we'll switch around with uh, Victor or something. Because I know we want to get Victor. Whoa! That thing came out of nowhere. It's a young goose. I didn't know they were that fast. Did you guys know they were that fast? Alright. Time to check it out. Z power. Z supersonic. No. We are gonna blitz this QB and do our Z move. Ha! Ha! Do do! Ha! Yeah! Come here, come here! Ha! And watch this little bat go. <laughs> and go! How do you know how you're running when you're flying? I don't know. Straight through that weasel and not even doing a bit of damage. I forgot to check the time. Oh, uh, we're doing fine actually. And time is doing fine, it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and brick to the break this young goose and hope that does a little bit more damage. It is super effective, but that level difference is affecting us. Whoa, I'm glad you're faster. Nice, nice job beating up that young goose and taking the W and the 112 experience. Smalls goose of 14. Fury swipes, nope. Gem to level 12. Bruce to level 8. Apparently I should have put this on a little bit ago. Um, I did feel like we were under level there. I thought they dropped an item. An orange berry. Let's go ahead and uh, move time back out. We're going to put Victor up front. It's level 11, so it's kind of the lowest. But let's get out of Verdant Cavern. I don't want to be attacked by anything else. And, of course, we get attacked. So the other thing I was actually looking for was the Alolan Diglett. Um, that was an option, I thought. Because um, it'd be kind of cool to have a Diglett on the squad. And uh, it'd be, pr it'd be uh, I think it would do pretty well with the steel ground piping for us. Man, uh-oh. Definitely time to start evolving. And I think it's a perfect time to put on that XP share too because we're starting to fall below levels and I don't want to have to grind. Otherwise the game becomes a grind like this where you have to three shot a Zubit. Maybe four shot because of that absorb. Nope, nope, Vice Grip did it. Nice job, Victor. I'm just trying to escape over one more ledge. Run away. Are you kidding me? See where that Roto Repel would be useful? I think I'm just running it. I think I'm just going to run it. Run until that. Until Victor has a lightning move, I don't really want to run into Zubat. So let's go ahead and see what's outside of the cave. Man, that took a while. Your eyes look funny again. Wake up. Hearts. Mate, wait, more lotto? More lotto? Let's get some more prize money. Hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. Look at that amazing power! Two Roto friendships, guys. Because Roto is the friendship. Um, Power that helps you become friends with your Pokemon quicker. Why not? Let's, let's just use that. We're just going to use that because, like, when am I going to use that? It's just going to make him, like, grow in friendship for the next, like, for all the rest of the video. Hey, Lima, what do you want? I'm a Lima. Greetings, Captain Alima here. As you travel around the islands of Alola, 
You will find captain's barricades here and there. These barricades help the mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. <laughs> it looks like the big guy's uh, power was able to move the gate. I didn't really see you do anything. And then he's just waving to you like a, uh, Hey, how are you doing? Voila! Uh, your world just got bigger. <laughs> Why did he turn Australian? I am the, I'm the only captain here on Melee Melee Island. Meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you've cleared the trial, please inform our Kahuna Hara. And go the long way, please. Just go the long way. Cookie. Hey there, Dabba Drabby. Oh, look at the expression on Linda's face. I'd say you cleared the first trial, yeah. Guess I'd better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z-Power. Woo! Um, thingies, thingies, and things. Um, I'm not going to read this because I have used Z-Powers before. This is why I prematurely attached it to... Um, to the Noibat there that we had just caught. So, let's see what this rock rough is going to do. Not to Growly! Growly is adorable. How dare you Blitzkrieg bop him. I don't think that's the move. I think it's actually called Blitzkrieg, uh, Blitz. Sorry. Breakneck Blitz. Um, however, I'm just going to call it the Blitzkrieg bop. Yeah, Breakneck Blitz, so... Blitz Creek Bop. Ha, Kukui looks funny. Funny with his Z moves. Rock Rock unleashes his full force Blitz Neck. Break Neck Blitz. Blitz Neck Break. I don't know. Ah. Moving those little paws like no paws and move before. Taking out the ground and an Uno shot. One shot in it. This is what Z moves are supposed to do. However, they really do them. Phew! Z powers keep all trainers feeling into Pokemon. Yeah. I do not read that. Oh, yeah! Using Z power once per battle is all the team can handle. Yeah! Mm, so, that is what you've been looking. That is why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. No! It's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot I, that I lost Lily somewhere on Route 3. Think you could spare some time to help look for her, Dapper Drabby? Oh, yeah. Uh, I can look around here, and I think she might have wandered off, too. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her. Yeah. And walk in opposite directions. About face. Where could Lily have gone to? Use my map. It has some useful features. Yeah, like, give me these berries. And let's go to Route 3. Maybe we can find a new Mon. Um, let's avoid... I don't like birds. Well, I do like birds. I have, like, two birds. Speed by you. Ah, oh, you found me! He found me! Ah, let's go ahead and face off against... Rising Star Ian. So if your name is Ian, Ian, and you're a Rising Star, let me know down in the comment section below. Sayayay. What would be your Pokemon at this point, facing off against a, po a person going on their trial? Ooh, what do I do to a Psyduck? I feel like I could Vice Grip. Let's hope that does some damage. Water Gun in me. This is why you do not put uh, Rock of Fire in. Wow, that did some damage. And wow, that did no damage. Is there anything I could do? Um, you know what? I think... I think he's weak to grass and dark moves. 
So 18 times 2 is 36. Victor has another move in him. Let's see if we can bite and if that'll affect this side up. Water gun me again. Survive it. Just like I knew you could. Bite. And still doesn't do enough. Okay, come back to me, Victor. Um, we're gonna have to throw out smalls. Actually, who has the best um, special defense? 20, 16, 10, 15. Yeah. How is... Is that normal? Is that normal for an Alolan Meowth to be your most offensive monster? Can take the mess, most hits? Or is that because it's an Alolan Meowth? I thought it had the same stats as like regular Meowth in Persian. So it had a different, uh, different ability. Like this one has Technician or a uh, Fur Coat. Here we go, we flinch it. And then we do some same type attack bonus. Some stab bites. And that can take out that side. So Meowth is turning out. Small is, turn is turning out to be one of our go to's right now. I guess until Victor um, evolves into Charger Bug. I couldn't show off the effects of my abilities. Because I didn't have rain dance or anything. But let's skip the birds and head down here. I think we could catch a mon, and it is going to be our Route 3 encounter, which is a sparrow. Yay, sparrow. I was actually open to avoid sparrow, and I might have to because it's sparrow or charger bug right now so I don't know why I did not switch two and three all right we got sparrow we got the sparrow I think we're going to put sparrow um on the back burner for now yeah we need these guys on our team to grow levels but I think we have plenty of, uh, plenty of birds. Plus, I don't think Sparrow is very, he waits until level 20 to evolve, and we're hoping to take out Hala before 20. Okay, what should be the nickname for Sparrow? Um, I would say Fear, but, or Spare, you know, I don't know. Uh, Spare Strike? Strike. Striker. There we go. How about that? Striker the Sparrow. Sorry, I'm a bowler, so strikes and spares just go hand in hand. So we got Striker the Sparrow. The Spare Throw. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check the summary, but ultimately we're going to put him in the box. Keen Eye, can name the Keen. Lowering attack, raising speed, and um, pursuit. So timid nature scatters things often, and I don't think we've caught it before. So we will go ahead and send that to the box, and we will probably need to sort that out. So I just wanted to get that one catch in um, before we ended it off today. But I think uh, next time we'll go through Route 3, and... Uh, continue on our quest but wow it's definitely bird island i think i have the bird flu on this first island let's go ahead go back to the pokemon center heal up and uh we will end it off there i want to thank everyone for coming out today and checking out the video on um, let's tune in next week for some more nonchalant nuzlocke um we're gonna go ahead and do this real fast we're gonna Heal up our Pokemon, and then we are going to save. Yeah, Grubbin needed to heal. And we will, uh, between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the box. So, I guess I thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby, and I will bid you guys a Lola. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.